Man, and I, and I shout back, Dwarf. Do dwarves love their traps or something? Because we're just running into them left, right, and center here. Yeah, we're pretty good. <coughs> Gim, what are you doing, bud? I'm going to do a now. healing potion. Okay, deduct a healing surge and heal yourself of 10, sir. Thank you. What else you doing? Anything else, Gim? Or are you done? Uh, I'm going to stay right where I am. All right. Malavel, what are you doing? I am going to take uh, two steps forward. Going to take two steps forward and two steps back. I would like to uh, use my minor action to take my rope. I've got a silk rope. I'm going to take it out of my backpack and form a loop. Okay. And then I'm going to use my standard action to sew it over looks wise. All right. I'll grab the end of the rope. I'll be the anchor man. Do I need to make like a athletics check? You can do a to hit roll. I'll let you do a to hit roll. To hit? Yep. Uh, with a dex modifier. Basically, you're attacking with a, a ranged weapon, basically. Because you are throwing something, so yes. You do a uh, d20 plus your dex and half level. I'll be back to rolling on roll 20 next week, guys. I just didn't have time to get that all set up. So, All right, so you're able to you're able to get the rope to Blixwise. Blixwise catches the rope, and then all of a sudden, Blixwise, you fall to the ground. So you're, you're basically, you are now basically, you're prone. So... You're not being pulled anymore, Amon, and Wolf. Your like your your uh, sword, Amon, your backpack, your daggers, and everything, Wolf. They all stop being pulled. Uh, basically, nothing is happening right now. So everything seems to be normal again. And also the shield and the bits of armor that were you know stuck to the obelisk as well, basically fell back down to the ground. Interesting. So that, I mean, it, 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 that's why they're there, basically. All that stuff on the base of the, the obelisk. Okay, that seems like it's on a timer. So. Get the hell out of there, then. Don't Whose I turn is it? Eamon Isis is at 400. That's my intention. All right, so let's go back up to... Actually, let's start with uh, Blix. What are you doing, Blix? One move to stand up, and uh, I probably might need to jump over that spot. Because I don't know about the spots in between, between the two of them. Okay. So you can go ahead and what is athletics is jump as well, right? Can I assist him by jerking on the rope as he jumps? Sure, I'll let you have a uh, go actually, ahead. Actually, my acrobatics is higher. Well, actually, ju I think jumping is athletics. So I think uh, acrobatics is more balancing and you know tumbles and rolls and stuff like that. So plus you're getting an assist. Okay, here's so, to assist. Okay, give me the assist roll. All right, you are able to do a plus two for assisting. Oh, sadness. 
well you're able to get across that you don't uh, you don't make the jump successful you land about a foot short of that tile Dave so you basically land about right here but nothing happens the obelisk does not activate ah and you're you're back to where you were I kinda modified this room a little bit to there huh yeah you went from there uh, you jumped you made your jump with the assistance of uh, Mal you landed about right here just short oh, of the okay. edge of the square but you're able oh, to okay. move over to the next square and nothing right. happened good <laughs> All right, so Blix, you can go ahead and move out of the room because you can't share the same space as uh, as Bach. So you're able to get out of the room. There we go, finally. All right, so Bach, what are you doing now? I'm going to take one step here. Okay, you move there, nothing happens. And then I'm going to move my wolf there. All right. As your move, wolf. As your wolf moves, same thing happens. Every everything is pulled to the obelisk. So you're uh, basically wolf and Amon. You start feeling that the obelisk is activated, and that you know the 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 runes start glowing a little bit more green, and you can tell that there's definitely something going on, and you can hear a like a low humming of the obelisk as well. Okay. Then I deduce by watching both times the trap was tripped that it appears to be whatever side you're looking from. It looks like it might be the left hand square of the four corners that <clears throat> might trip it. Or at least well, so far. It tripped when the when the wolf moved. It didn't trip when Bakhtago moved. It exactly. Tripped, it tripped when the when the wolf moved. And it tripped when Gim stepped on the square that is to the left hand side. That one. Yep. Yeah. There's so basically that one. There's a safe path that they can take that, one. that does not activate it. And that one are traps. But this one's also a trap right there. Uh, actually, it's we don't know that for sure. No, Dave's out. No, Dave's out. When Blinks got pulled there, well, uh, Dave said it activated. Yep. And your uh, your wolf also takes a total of six damage as well from lightning, and he yelps. <laughs> All right. So. When you stepped in, when he stepped in uh, the four squares that are near the obelisk, those are trapped too. You only know the one right there. You'll, yeah, you only know the one, and the square that you guys have been in. This square. You've been in this square where the wolf is at now. Currently, you've been in this square. You've been in this square, and the two squares where Wolf and the square beside him, which is empty, and the square where Bakhtago is. Those are all the squares that people have been in. And, um... While I'm standing here, can I look around to see if anywhere on this wall there's any sort of a controls for this room? Like for the traps. Uh, you can give me a perception check, but it's just basically smooth walls and you know four doors, basically. Okay. Um, I don't know, guys. What do you want to do? You want to keep running around here, checking these things, or do you want to try to get to another door? Do you have any chalk left? Yes, I do. Do you want to mark the spots that we've uh, already stepped on that trigger the trap? I can do that. I was 
suggestion for I you. I never thought you'd ask. Why don't you do a perimeter along the wall and, and see uh, uh, if it's okay to uh, just walk along the outskirts of the room without tripping anything? That's what I was going to do. That's kind of what I've been doing. I've been trying just to see where the spots are along the walls and everything. Let me move to right there. Alright. What, the, All right. what are the black circles represent? Those are all the squares that you guys have been in. Okay. Then how are we going to mark the ones that we know are traps? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Different yeah. color. I don't have a different color, so... Uh, basically, Bach, the one that... It has not been tripped, so... That's why I have not got a mark in your square. So, uh, also, there needs to be a square here. Where Amon is at. So, those are basically the squares that you guys know that have been trapped. Well, Wolf, as you move to the square that you're at uh, I need you to actually I'm going to make a check on you and that is a 21 versus your will uh, 15 alright you are pulled and your backpack and your dagger on your your hip your ba it basically pulls you with such force almost ripping your belt almost ripping through your backpack and now you are on the actual obelisk. You also take four lightning damage from being shocked. Okay, I'm going to take this time again and take a closer observation of this obelisk. <laughs> You're pretty close now. Uh, same thing, you I just see a bunch of runes and symbols and basically just depicting... Uh, Lightning and dwarves, basically. What is everybody else doing real quick besides Wolf Swift? Just one quick thing. What are you guys doing? I have, I have one quick. Where the first I'm two... I'm gathering up my rope from Blixwise and uh, go ahead and putting it back in my backpack. Has anyone checked that, uh, that square? Not yet. No. Mm -mm. i like to it... do a little hop over to that square. Did okay. somebody did, did somebody mention that there's a dwarvish writing on the obelisk? Nothing happens, Blix. Alright. No, it's just runes. Again. Could could I read them? He was able to to determine that ba basically it was all the dwarvish symbols for like lightning and all, and all that stuff, Gim. Okay. I was about ready to take off everything that was metal and go over there naked and read it. So after about 20-30 seconds uh, you fall to the ground uh, because of the the force that has actually kind of lifted you off the ground you fall to the ground wolf uh, and it appears that nothing is going on right now. Okay. So, Dave, were the two spots right in front of the door traps also? Because I believe you said they weren't. Uh, in, in f yeah, the, the ones that are in front of the door, yeah, those were safe spots. Those okay. are the only safe spots that you guys noticed. Uh, but the two spots that you are currently in and Blixwise are currently in. So, let me just, uh, let me just take these off. Uh, I'll, I'll, we'll have all of the safe spots uncovered that you yeah, guys know of. Like, all yeah, confused about. yeah, that's fine. That's what I was. And now also, uh, you know that this was now uh, determined as well that that was uh, trapped because of the the lightning and everything. All right. Bach, what are you doing? In anything that there is, can I tell whether any can I have heard or deduced 
any generalization whether these traps once they're stepped on do they reset or do they just you can give me a you can give me a a perception check on that actually give me a thievery check I'll let you know on that well you you can see that the 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 actual floor tile that you're on and the three well the two tiles in front of you within your adjacent reach you can see that there are hundreds of little pressure plates on each one of those and some of them are depressed and some of them aren't depending on where that person stepped but you can okay. definitely see that it, it's actually part of the entire floor tile so it looks like it's part of the floor tile it's just not one it's not like your typical trap that you detect all the time Eamon. It, it is more complex it's instead of one there's hundreds on the tile so it literally looks like part of the you know the the, the floor itself i'm suggesting uh if if you can hear me uh wherever they're depressed is it inside of the square or on the outside uh, along the side or in the center are they depressed it it depends on where they've stepped but you're able to probably determine Eamon that once it the tile is is activated then everything on that tile is probably deactivated because you know that usually electric charges usually last with one burst and then after that it usually doesn't burst again using your track expertise and knowledge Okay, I uh, I inform those around me of what I saw. Whose turn is it? Uh, Blix, what are you doing? Blix, Wolf, what are you doing? You got to stand up, Wolf. So you you get stood up. So Blix and Wolf, what are you two doing? I'll probably see if I can move to here. Just okay. do the circumference. All right, you move freely. Nothing happens. Okay. Wolf Swift, what are you doing? I'm going to go ahead and try to retrace my steps back to the front. Okay, you're able to. You can you can move through both of those uh those floor tiles and nothing happens. Okay, guys, I have an idea. I have a ability called Mage Hand where it creates a disembodied disembodied hand I can go around pushing all the tiles down try to clear out a path without electrocuting anyone sound good to me works for me okay so I'll go ahead and do that then Dave wouldn't the hand dissipate after being attacked though by the lightning well let's see let's Let's read this. Yeah, it sounds a little, a little weird. So, you want to use Mage Hand. So let's see. You conjure a spectral floating hand in an unoccupied square within range. The hand lasts until the end of your, until your, the end of your next turn, or until you use this power again. If you're holding an object, when you use this power, the hand can move the object into a pack, a pouch, a sheath, something container. Uh, Move any object carried or worn anywhere in your body into your hand. While the hand is persisting, you can take fallen actions. You can you can pick up or manipulate an object weighing 20 pounds or less. It can only hold one item at a time. The hand can move five squares in any direction, and the hand drops the item and sustain minor the hand persists until the end of your next turn that's pretty cool that's a pretty freaking op cantrip that's actually pretty cool so what so give me in detail what you're actually going to do with this mage hand this is actually this is pretty cool i like this i i'm gonna sort of go around retracing my steps and just for where where the tile isn't been activated yet or hasn't been discharged of electricity, I'm going to use the hand to press down on that tile. Can you go I'm around the room? Drop something on it. Yeah, because you can... It's going to take you a while. It's probably going to take you about... 
about six to eight rounds, which is probably about a minute to about a minute and a half. But because you have to conjure the hand multiple times, uh, and you're able to determine that, I'm going to go ahead and just tell you now. You're able to determine that that space was trapped and then you had to conjure a new hand and and thank goodness that this is your cantrip as well right yes <laughs> you're able to determine that that was trapped you're able to determine that that was trapped and lastly you're able to determine that that was trapped everything else is was fine you're able to pick up you know skeletal bones and and everything else and basically you command in the main chain to basically activate every single you know tile and that is what you came up with those okay. tiles there nothing Sorry. happened on any of the other tiles so uh blix and bach well actually bach and blix hey, 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 you guys had hey, the honestly. the idea so, mm -hmm. on, so i conjure one last hand take the mm -hmm. chalk from um, and just, just go ahead and start mocking them and have the hand return the chalk to him. All right. Um, and you're going, man, that's a pretty cool trick. <laughs> What's up, Crow? Yeah, it beats me having to put my hands on it. All right, so what are you guys doing now? You you have got I'd like the... I'd go out and look at the armor and stuff that's by the uh, pillar and see what kind of quality it is, if it's worth taking or not. It's beat up pretty bad, actually. You can tell that there's lots of dents in that chest piece, and it's really not even worth anything uh, because it's been hit up against that obelisk so many times that it's pretty much been rendered useless. And same with the pieces. And you notice that the other pieces made a bigger piece, which have basically been crushed into to smaller pieces. The shield as well. The shield as well. All done it up. Nothing of value. Okay. Yeah, exactly, 124. Yeah, Mage Hand is okay. You want to circle around the traps and go yeah. through the east door? Mage Hand is now officially a daily power. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yes. <laughs> Just remember, sometimes that's going to work. Sometimes that's not going to work. You guys want to circle around the traps and go through the east door? You mean the west door? East. Oh, uh, that one. Okay. That one there? Yeah. Okay. I want to do a listening check at this door. Okay. While they're still playing around. Give me a perception check, sir. You can hear you can hear fluttering and you can hear scratches up against the door. Very light scratches, but you can hear some high squeaks as well. Beep beep. I relay this to the party. You guys' rolls are so damn good tonight. I'm going to come up and do a... Uh, I'm going to check that door, too. Get your wolf out of the way. What kind of, uh, what kind of check are you going to do? Are you checking it for traps? Or? Trap. Yeah, not okay. normal. Okay. Oh, my God. Uh... Under about? under yeah. your breath, you're thinking to yourself, "Hmm, I think this might be okay to open up." <laughs> I want to go over to this door and do another perception check. All right. Hmm. Silence. Can't really hear anything. I'll make a perception check here. Listen. Okay, at the east door, go for it. It's cool to see everybody working together with their skill checks. I, I really like this. They're doing a pretty good job. These are all new players anyway, guys. Except for Dave, he's he's played a little bit of 4-0. 
so he knows he knows the rules. Gim, it's all quiet on your end as well. You don't you don't hear anything uh, past the door. Okay, uh, I'm going to tell the guys behind me. I'm going to open this door and I'm going to back up one space. Uh, Wolf Swift. Yes. Look into that room. Move, move, move over to the side so the obelisk is not in your way. <coughs> and look into that room and tell me what you see. Okay. Alright, so you're opening up the door. Alright, you open up the door and you see a hallway and you do notice that this door to the south slams shut. <laughs> Slam shut. Yeah, must be a one door only but kind of place. Uh, does my dwarven uh, knowledge uh, know why that occurred? Mm, give me a dungeoneering check. There you go, your, okay. your first dungeoneering check there, Gim. Make us proud. Can I also roll dungeoneering? Sure. I'm trying to give them little bits of information. Ah. Gim, you're able you're able to You've seen this before in other dwarven fortifications. You've seen this uh, to where it it's usually to trap something in, uh, you know. But something's weird about this because one door is going open and one is going closed. So uh, there, there's something more to this, but you're just not able to determine it. Okay. 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 Well, I'll approach the door uh, and look inside. Since I got 60 feet uh, dark vision, I'll be able to see further in and get a good perspective on what we're up against. Don't see nothing yet. You don't have dark vision. That's Pathfinder. That's my racial in all in D and D and vision, Pathfinder. Man. Essentially, well, you got low light vision, yeah. That's the same thing. You got a little bit of. Uh, I've got your uh, your token uh, adequately set on on your vision, so you can see a hall again. I mean, you can see uh, that the the hall takes a left turn. That's something that, that you can see happen in the hall. Rogue, get behind me. I'm going to tell everybody to watch the trap squares because when that door shut the other one, it may have reset the traps. Rogue, get behind me. Or to my side, I mean. Get over here. Are we going? <laughs> I guess we're going through this way. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go in, and I'm going to step to my right. If nothing happens, you come in, and we'll check the traps, and go from there. How's that sound? Following the party. Roll with it. Come on in. Nothing happens. Do you think? Give me uh, one second, guys. <laughs> 